So the you talked really about the bat rules for writers. Yes. Could you talk a little bit about the bat rules? I wish I had a copy, but I mean, I, I, I tried to just note. I tried to describe just the things that I've been saying here. I gave sample lines, and I said that Batman never broke the law. It was important. The only one person who was ever killed in all of Batman. Only one person ever injured, even, and that was again Joe St. John, in the first episode fell into a nuclear reactor. She was pushed into a nuclear reactor. And that was the end of Jill. <laughs> and she was vaporized. But after that, decided, don't kill anybody. I mean, there's no gun play in it at all, anywhere, ever. He wasn't that kind of guy. But and did you talk in the, in the Bat Rules about what you're talking about now, the kinds of humor that were acceptable yes, for Batman? I described as best I could. I gave examples of things that were right. And there were things, there were times when they were rushing to catch somebody. And uh, there's a no parking zone, you know. And Robin would say, stop here, you know, stop here, we'll get him. And Batman would say, no, we must never break the law, Robin. <laughs> and wouldn't park there because there was a no parking sign. And I gave that as an example of the kind of things that Batman did, that he was incredibly square. Totally square. I mean, that, that really is the essence of it, and not to try to make him witty. In fact, the, the more serious and something, if he can knit his brows and come up with a ridiculous solution to a riddle, the, the, that was the better. The, I don't say the dumber he seemed the better, but the more, the more somber and straight and, and profoundly silly, but not, not a jokester. 